uh, welcome again god bless you so i'm going to read you something uh from open doors this week which i trust they come out with the top 50 persecution list for christians as you may have heard of them via my videos um, and this is entitled a saudi christian wife writes your prayers come for our souls so it's not necessarily like a tale of horror over the last few weeks we have shared with you about adam and that's uh this is open doors speaking a saudi arabia believer who is now facing a fine of eight hundred thousand dollars or a prison sentence if he can't pay the fine throughout the world christians like you have faithfully shared more than 2,000 prayers and encouraging messages with Adam, his wife Hope, and his younger son Andrew. And I might add that these names have been changed to protect these people. One of Adam's concerns was the safety of his wife and son. Uh, his wife Hope's Muslim family had forcibly held her in their home. While it was a very difficult decision, Adam managed to relocate his wife and son to another country where they'll be safe and taken care of. Amen. The couple's older son, who earlier left Saudi Arabia, remains in a different country. With their absence, Adam is now walking through the valley without his family, uh, alone but for the Lord, he says. Our field shared a letter Hope wrote from their new location in response to the overwhelming encouragement that she and her son received. And this is the transcript of that letter. Dear brothers and sisters in my heart, a message of thanks and gratitude I send to you for always standing by me. How beautiful are your messages. You are a light that lights my path, that comforts our souls and strengthens it. It is a great honor to be a part of this family, the family of Christ. And Ephesians 6, 10 to 13 says this, finally be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armour of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts uh, for your constant support and your wonderful stance words of praise and all expressions of thanks do not describe how grateful I am to you. Yes, the separation of children and husband is the most difficult experience that any human being goes through. I left this country where, where I was born and I do not know what awaits me and my children, but I trust God to intervene in the most difficult moments, even if it is the last. I have faith in the Lord Jesus to help us. God has commanded us to put our trust in him. He says in Psalm 46, God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear for though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the hearts of the sea, heart of the sea. Accept my best regards, your sister Hope and her children. So Adam still awaits the result of his appeal against the $800,000 fine. And it's uncertain whether the judge, uh, when the judge rather will make a decision. So please do continue to pray or, or begin praying for Adam, Hope and their family um, and ask God to fill their hearts with peace and comfort um, as you know they weather this separation from each other basically. So that's a, that's a different form of persecution. So financial, you know, false allegations, uh, false imprisonment, financial penalties that cannot be kept and therefore the threat of imprisonment um, are very real methods of persecution um, and they come into the demographics I think of civil life um, where of course you know to profess Christ is a crime basically so please do continue to pray for not only the murdered or the families of the murdered uh, but for those who are penalized by a bureaucracy because it's just as real the separation and internally displaced peoples and externally displaced peoples are at just as much risk of um, like threats to their faith due to the trauma of the situation. So I'm gonna say God bless you and I'm gonna do some more persecution videos shortly and another live stream. And uh, thank you very much for listening. Please share the vids, if not, share the information. The link will be in the description box. And uh, yeah, please pray for us Christians at the park, but more importantly, pray for any uh, mockers and scoffers and also uh, the Muslims. So yeah, God bless, bye bye.